moderator. Uh, Vic and Tyler, I wonder we can uh, have a three-way. I wonder, um, three-way Instagram, that is. <laughs> but uh, hey, Vic and Tyler, raise your hand. I want to see who you, where you are, so we try to add you. Let me see how many people I can add on this. Vic, Vic, Vic is a true story, man. I hope we can get on a podcast because he, he was – he was what I was, what you were beginning. Big time gambling, big swings of PL. and Now he's just one of the most consistent persons I've ever seen. So uh, where are you, Vic? Uh, he's, uh, I, I want to have him introduce himself. Or Tyler, you can go first. Uh, there go, Tyler. Let me bring Tyler first. And then Vic, you raise your hand. Uh, I wonder if we can do a three-way. I hate that word. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll start with that. Hey! Hey, man, how are you? This is the first time I've seen you, brother. How you doing? No, I'm doing great. How are you? Can you hear Where me? are you right now? I'm in Santa Monica. Oh, so dude. not too far from Culver. That's nice. That's nice. You're going to be at the meetup for sure then. I will. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'll let you introduce yourself to everybody. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm Tyler. Uh, living in Santa Monica. I'm originally from New Hampshire. I've been uh, trading for about five years now, and then it wasn't until probably the last 12 to 16 months that I started to become consistently profitable. I uh, still have a lot lot to learn and a, a long way to go, but uh, it's been a good ride. I've been in MIC for about two years, actually probably over two years, two and a half years. Um, didn't have a process prior to MIC, was in some other chat rooms, trading like four or five different setups at once. And over the last 12 to 14 months, I started to just focus on one strategy that fit my personality. Um, it's been going really well. Um, just trying to master one strategy just focusing on my discipline. Um, and what's been great is that the strategy I'm trading allows me to just step away at 7 a.m. I guess market time over here. So that's why I'm in the park and just relaxing. So that's a little bit about me. Your life, huh? So you, are you yeah. short biased? I am. I'm short biased. Um, I'm just trading pre-market gappers right now. And the goal is to just try to fade them um, throughout the day. Um, so just trying to maximize winners. Uh, it's a smaller win rate, but it fits my personality because I don't like to be at the screens. Don't like to look at the level two or time and sales or anything. So I just get them, get them the position, set my stops and, and, and step that's, away. So, so that's the key guys. The key is Tyler's using hard stops, right? You put the hard stops in, don't have to worry. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I actually just added to my position right before this Instagram live and I usually don't like to do it mobile. So um, the first thing I do after I double down or enter a new position is just make sure my stops in place. And so I adjust my stops depending on my size. So as I add to a winner, I can always maintain the same amount of risk. Um, and that's what's been so helpful uh, the last 12 months. You're basically, a, you're not a day trader, bro. You're a risk manager. That, that, that's, yeah. that, that's the best thing. You, you let your trades work. And I, I love your style, bro. Uh, this, we have many, you can make money many different ways, guys. You have to find one that fits your personality. So this one fits Tyler's yeah. personality. He's at the park, chilling out. <laughs> I wish I could, I, I'm a nervous wreck guys I like to be in control so it's hard for me to just walk away like that and so you know you you trading you know you have to find a strategy that fits your personality because yeah. you know if, if I did what Tyler did dude I'd be on my phone on the park <laughs> all day refreshing so it doesn't really fat match my style you know I'm, I'm, so you know it works for me it works for Tyler you have to find something that works for you there's no one style yeah. One type of strategy because there's many ways to make money, man. So, tell, so tell everybody. So, in, 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 in a nutshell, like if you were to tell people how you start from basically nothing to get into where you are today, because right now you're you're, you're solid, man. Uh, congrats. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the first, I mean, the first thing I'd recommend is to obviously to start with paper trading and not using real money, and then do that. Like, there's no rush at all. So do it for two, three, four months. I see people like rush in using money right away, but start with paper trading, but then just go small with real money. My recommendation, though, is to like like we were just talking about, is to try to find a strategy that fits your personality. I think a lot of people in the room and just trading in general, they'll see like these flashy charts and amazing P and Ls, and just try to trade like someone else. But no two traders are exactly the same. So I think it's finding something that fits your personality that you're comfortable with. And then something I always recommend, and I know it's not for everyone, but, like outside of trading, I do a lot of, of like meditation and different forms of meditation because. If you become more self-aware as a trader, you'll start to recognize when you're like emotional and you're stressed and you're greedy or have fear. And if you can identify how you feel during trades, you can kind of course correct and make sure that you're sticking to the process that you outline. 
So I guess it's find a strategy that fits your personality and then continue to make sure that you're in a position where you're not emotional when you're trading. Because I think that's when people force and deviate and things like that. Also in MIC, we have so many amazing moderators. So like I was super proactive reaching out to moderators that traded in a similar fashion to how I wanted to trade. So just leveraging the resources that we have in MIC was super valuable. Um, that's great, man. That's I what mean, I would recommend. So, so notice what Tyler did. Um, he didn't just become an overnight success, right? I mean, it took, a, it took work, bro. It's been five years. Yeah, it's been five and a half years. And I always thought that every year I was like, no, this is going to be the year. This is going to be the year. But um, I just kind of put that away. Like I always put this timeline on. I'm like, I need to be profitable in a year. I need to make this much money. But when you drop those numbers on timing and how much money you want to make, you'll realize you'll actually make it quicker. You'll become more profitable quicker um, when you just kind of put those mental pressures away. Um, so it's been a long ride. I still have a lot to learn. Um, and it's exciting that it's only five years when I plan to trade this for the rest of my life. So it still feels like I haven't been trading very long. <laughs> Dude, some, some people take <laughs> decades. Some people never do it. Yeah. Right? So it's, this is great. Um, do you have a tab? Do you think that tab group is instrumental to helping you as well? Super helpful. Yeah, I have I have a few folks, some in the MIC and some outside of MIC that I that I talk to regularly. Um, I found that in the morning I like to be hyper focused, so I'm not usually chatting or messaging too much pre market because I have my own process. I have a routine where I'm just focusing on what's in front of me, and I don't like to be super distracted. But um, the tab group and, and the individuals I speak to are influential and. In, and where I am today. Um, and what's great is you want to find tabs that like call you out. If you're deviating from your process, if you're not being disciplined, like that's what's so important to me. Like you don't want to be in a group that's always telling you you're doing a great job. Like I want to be with people that are telling me that, you know, I might not have maximized the trade or that there was ways where I could have been a little bit better. Um, so it's been so important. And I wouldn't have a, uh, a tab group if it wasn't for MIC. Um, I just had a few friends prior to MIC, but we didn't really know what we were doing. So it's been super helpful. Yeah. So awesome, man. So what, what are your plans now? So for the future, what are you working on? To yeah. Improve or? Yeah, it's exciting. So I, so I have a full-time job outside of trading. So I'm just focusing on that. I like well. that. I like that. Yeah. You don't it's need to be a full-time trader, bro. Income. Yeah, right? exactly. You don't need to quit your job. That's great. I, um, I moved from New Hampshire to the West coast. So that way I could trade before I have to do my other job. So it kind of just all worked out, but for the future, I don't know. I like sticking to this this one strategy I have now, but I'm super into like back testing and data. I do like I'm a data analyst for my my current job outside of trading. So I'm trying to use data to find ways to maximize my edge within the one strategy I have. I think I'm capturing about like 70 to 80 percent of of the trades that I want to be capturing. So just finding ways to tweak my process a little bit to maximize um, my trading while still maintaining my risk. So. I've been trying to find ways to like automate as much as I can, like creating little signals on when I should enter and exit and um, just finding ways to just make my trading as seamless as possible without reducing the amount of like risk that I'm taking. Um, so that's kind of the plan. And I just want to be away from the screens. So like, as you can see, like it's 7am or it's eight here, but um, I just want to trade and be on the screens as least as possible while still being able to, to make money and just kind of live the life I want to live. Um, yeah, I love that, guys. This, this yeah. is thing, trying to stress everybody. Everybody, all these, all these services, all these guys are promoting. Hey, quit your job. Uh, start your yeah. own business. I mean, dude, uh, the, the fact I would tell you something is very stressful if you don't have an income. So the fact that you have an income helped yeah. you survive five years of this. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I was literally losing money for four plus years, um, and so like I'm super grateful for the job I have now that allowed me the ability and the flexibility to be able to trade like I maybe I should already be working right now it's like almost nine but they're giving me the flexibility to to do what I need to do but um yeah it's, the supplemental income is huge because once you remove that huge pressure of I need to make money I need to trade then you'll actually just be disciplined you'll stick to your process and you'll end up making more money quicker when you kind of get rid of those like the, those thoughts about how you need to trade today you need to make money to make a living like I don't have those stresses and I'm super grateful for it. Great. That's, that's awesome, man. I mean, that, that's exactly how most people in my opinion become successful. It's not because they quit their job and they're desperate. They try to gamble. They are, they are trying to learn. So that's why we, we talk about the best investment when you start is investing in your education. So that's what it is. Yeah. And so education, just like going to college, right? Did you go to college? Yeah, I did. 
Yeah. So you, you invest in that college, and now you got your job. Your job affording you to pay rent so that you can learn to day trade. You know, yeah. everything in life is about investing in your education. So, don't, I, in my opinion, guys, I'm a big advocate for education. I don't listen to these guys that are telling you to quit your job, quit your job. Yeah. Having a nine to five is not bad. Uh, uh, the the richest guys in the world had a nine to five. Elon Musk. They all are software guys. They they, they work nine to five. Actually, they work mm-hmm. nine to nine, all twenty four hours a day, right? So, um, so don't 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 think about that kind of stuff, guys. If you really want to do something, you first have to work hard. But number but number two, to be realistic, like you need to support yourself. You need to pay rent. You need to do these things. Yeah. Right? So, so I hate these guys. I walk in, they, they expect to put 500 bucks and make a million dollars overnight. Right. And that's how you blow up guys. So we, we teach you to actually be self-sufficient day traders. And so that's why uh, I'm very proud of you, man. I'm very proud of you that you work so hard. I've seen you in, in chat for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I think I joined like two months after you guys started, but I was pretty quiet for a little bit. And um, I see you trade many different right, styles, style bro. Much. I see you make you try yeah. many different styles before you yeah, found one that matches you. Yeah, it's great. That's the best part about it. Is like it, there's no time, there, like there's no timeline or rush to finding what works for you. And it almost, I almost feel like it just found me. Like after trial and error for so many different strategies, like something just clicked where there was a few mods posting charts in the room, and I was like, well, that that kind of resonates with me, and that kind of makes sense and fits my personality. And um, that's just one of the many perks i think of mic is seeing how other people trade and you can try to adopt it in some form and see if it makes sense so yeah thank you awesome yeah Yeah. it's awesome bro i I can't wait to meet you um on on the meetup day next uh the next thing i'm looking forward to it so congratulations man i appreciate hey uh (laughs) you may not like being uh being now having a lot of dms but um (laughs) like, like i gave you some advice on you know guys guys so you know you hear this great story about tyler please please do not overwhelm him with these questions that you can find easily by watching the videos as well guys so you know take take he's willing to help do not scare him away because you know what we have, <laughs> he, he may not want to he may resign guys and you guys are a great <laughs> valuable resource so um keep that in mind um, all right thanks man cool we'll thanks room. pal i'll see you soon thanks man. hey uh vic are you here brother vic the the, the doctor and uh let's let's see uh, if he's around uh, he he may be saving lives right now <laughs> instead of being on Instagram Live. And also, David, David, are you around? Uh, he uh, we we promoted David. David, uh, dude, super solid guy. Promoted him to uh, moderate. Let me show you his chart, man. Uh, let me show you what these guys are killers. I I can't believe it. These guys are freaking killers, guys. I'm trying to pull up uh, David's chart here. Yeah, sick trade, bro. I mean, he, he is the most, he's one of the most patient people I've seen. He doesn't, he doesn't break rules. He, you know, um, this is Vic's P&L. Uh, so Vic, raise your hand if you're around. If not, that's okay. Um, dude, he's killing it today. He's Vic. This is Vic, the doctor. He's up 4,300 bucks. I mean, that, how would you like to get 4,300 bucks by the time before most people wake up? And so this is Vic here. Dude, first hour, he's done by the first hour, like we talk about. Boom, 4,300 bucks. How do you like that? Um, David, this is David. Uh, he's been promoted to moderate. Look at his chart. This is IMRN. Dude, this is sick. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look how he followed the, the rules. He did not short on the way up. He waited for the top to, to be set. And then he scaled back to the line. And they covered on it. This is the perfect fucking trade, guys. We always talk about this. Don't try to cherry pick. You don't know where the tops are. So he waited for the top to form, and then he shorted it down. This is this is this is exactly. I mean, dude, this is this is a ho- homegrown MIC strategy. Um, you say what you want to say, but it works, guys. It it it, it totally works. Uh, and all the mods are using the strategies, and they are making it their own. Um, you know, you don't you in the beginning you don't really know what you're doing, so just follow the instructions, follow the process to get to the point where you're consistent, and then then you can start to tweak it to your own methodology, guys. So I see a lot of guys on Twitter talking about this doesn't work, zombie rule don't work, blah blah blah. The point of the zombie rule is to keep everybody safe. The zomb- not every stock's gonna zombie, when but when the stock does zombie, most people will blow up because they get caught off guard. 
Okay, that's why we want to tell people do not, if you're short trading, be careful about zombie art. It's not because, oh, every stock is going to zombie. Of course, every stock is not going to go zombie, but the ones that do zombie will blow you up unless you have a hard stop in. Okay, guys? Let me see. Let me take a look at the comments here. David account is BCNS. Uh, I guess Vic is not here, but that's okay too, guys. Uh, I, those, so those two guys are killers, man. Uh, I, uh, I can't see. Is Vic on? Can you, can Vic, can you, uh, Vic or Alex on? I'm not, not David, I'm sorry. DC, and that's, just say, hey, hello, this is Vic. And I'll bring you on, guys. Or hello, this is David. I, I, there we go. Here's David. I see David. Oh, I can't bring him on for some reason. David, I can't bring you on. Uh, you not? Are you not on the phone? I think you have to be on the phone. DCNS. That's David right there. Add. Okay, so I found David, but I can't. If he's on, the, if he's not on the phone, I can't add him. Okay, here's Vic. Okay, we'll bring Vic on. And then after that, hopefully, I get David on. I sent a request to Vic. But this is great, guys. You, you see, this, these are truly motivational stories. Uh, hard work. Uh, hey, Bob, what's up? What's up, hey, Doc? Brother. What's up, Doc? <laughs> it's good to see you. Where are you at right now, man? Um, so I uh, took care of my patients in the morning, then uh, sent some orders out, hit my fantasy, came out to trade. Um, you remember I had that 3K loss last Friday. So it was kind of a little antsy uh, over the weekend. Same trade of feelings was, did I get lucky all along? I mean, this was a red day after like 45 days, but um, I wanted to share this with the group. Like even after 45 days, after being consistent, making 3 to 5K a day, um, one loss just takes away so much confidence. Um, so I had to bounce back strong today. And thankfully, I'm actually, I've made double the money that I did on, that I lost on Friday. So uh, I'm oh, yes, still in euros. Guys, we talk about this all the time. I love the fact that Vic brought this up. You can be green every day for five straight years. The moment you lose, something in your head triggers like, you get scared, right? It's something weird. It happens to me too, guys. I mean, I can be consistent for 10 years. And then you start to doubt yourself like, does my strategy not work anymore? And so, so the way you get back to the horse is, you know what, man? You, you, you don't think, right, Vic? You just act. And, and, and I just do the I same mean, thing you've always been doing. There are a couple of things that I learned along the way when, I mean, so I guess the big thing is screen time. I'm not much of a statistics guy. I do not really uh, track data or stuff. I just track my charts. And the reason I don't track data is because on a given day, you don't know if a stock ran because there were no other runners. What was the dilution status? What was the filing status? You don't know what was the market uh, uh, even like. So I just, and I, and I had that on my, uh, uh, my Slack, whatever, Char trade the chart, not your PNL. And I keep these reminders every week for myself. And I feel if you could just trade the chart and not worry about too much stuff like fancy indicators, data, just your setups, stick to uh, demand and supply. And, and that's it. That's all I do. And I look at price and volume and then make a decision as to, is this volume good enough to break the price, to break the ceiling? If I don't think it can, I just hammer it. And, and I try to with A plus setups because my whole thought is if I have to put in only 501k shares, why am I even trading that setup? Um, and and that's, that's been the biggest turnaround for me. So tell us your, because I remember you've been in MIC a lot, man. Everybody, I think pretty much everybody in MIC has helped you along the way somewhere, right? Yeah, tell, well, yeah. Tell about how you started being a gambler and to where you are. I'm very proud of you, man. This is uh, the discipline change, all that. So tell us, uh, remind people what how you started and, and what it took for you to get to this point. So, uh, so I think the biggest problem that I had, I'm really sorry, I just need to... Uh, 
uh, I guess, add to this position on BBIG. Um, <laughs> this guy, this, this stock kicked ass and I'm just so competitive, I just can't let them go. Um, so I started uh, almost two years ago after I finished my, uh, after I finished my fellowship, became a doctor, was a physician for two years and then started getting bored because there wasn't much to do, not much of a challenge. One of my friends introduced me to trade. And for the first three months, I was with Tim Sykes in his chat room, did not learn much. I don't think it's a bad chat room, just the style is much different. Um, still learned a little. I got Gritani's DVD, uh, Trading Tickers. Really love the guy. Great thing about him is his modesty. So for three months. And then I, I was like, this is not good enough. I have to do some digging. So I started doing my own work, came across some of Alex's webinars from, from the time he was in some other chat room, I think. Look for Alex, look for you. Um, found out about you, I don't know through whom. Somebody just told me this guy, he's a legend. Actually, you know what, Tim Sykes chat room, there were a couple of guys who said, if you need to learn from somebody, find, try to find modern rock. So I was like, I don't know who this modern rock is. So I had to Google, do my own search, look for you, found you, found you and found Alex and then found out that you had a chat room. So I joined MIC last year in February. Obviously, I, I had no idea what I was doing. I was trading all sorts of random stuff. My approach was add, add till it turns around. Um, I blew up like, I think I blew up three or four accounts. Uh, and then I started really listening and zoning in. So I think I've listened to Trading Fish Academy videos, I don't know, maybe four or five times. I kind of remember everything now. Like I could tell you what you're going to say. Austin's webinar, at least, at least two to three times. And I have bookmarked sections. Because um, I take this, trading is no different than any other competitive sport. As long as you're willing to pay the price and the price is hard work, the great thing, this is performance-based, so there's no limit. The amount of work you put in is the amount you'll make. Um, so I just bounce around from, uh, I would say, blow up to blow up, thinking, oh, I got this. So each time I would make money for, I don't know, the most three to four months, one trade, everything flat, because I would just make that one mistake and, and everything would just go down the toilet. Um, then I met with one of our moderators, Ann, this was like my last attempt and I thought I was going to just uh, um, quit trading if it didn't work this time. So he helped me. I've spoken to you and forth. I have spoken to Alex multiple, multiple times. Um, and then it sounds cliche. It just hit me that all you need to do is just stick to your setups and stick to your risk. If you stick to your risk. So the big lesson that I learned is always size accordingly what your account is. As long as you can do that, and you're ready to come back the next day. Like I, I lost 3K last Friday. If this was me six months ago, 3K would have been a devastating loss. Now 3K doesn't mean anything. I'm back. I made double. And, uh, and it's funny, Bao, while we were talking, I just had a position on Neuro. I had a 690 short outer line. Um, 5,000 shares. I've already made like 2K on that position too. And I mean, <laughs> there is nothing you need to do. Like once you I did that too, get right your now. basics... <laughs> And, yeah, it, it's so easy. It's like, it's, yeah, I mean, I could go into the setup. It's like, you know, oh. they're selling. They're oh. selling at 690. This is just a long trap all along. The VWAP is flat and they're just messing with the longs. Um, this is going to fade probably back to six by the end of the day. Um, so MIC just changed my life and it took me first six months to absorb all the material. And after the first six months, my growth, I mean, I, I don't want to brag, but it's almost been parabolic. I'm not scared of setups because I've seen you short parabolics. And I think the second thing I want to say is with MIC, you cannot get lazy. The, the cool thing about trading is every trader is his own person. He's like an artist. So you can learn from everybody. And I think I heard Austin say this once. You can learn from people, but you have to own the strategy. How do you own the strategy? You, you look at the videos. Once you see price action on the screen, you see if it confirms to your style or not. And then you just execute. And you're either going to uh, you're either going to lose, like you say. I mean, you're either going to make money or it'll be a lesson. Um, and and I'm not scared to execute. I don't give a shit if I lose. Like now, I kind of know if I lose, yeah, I will make it back. It might take a day or two. And and you have to know once you get on that path. I think the longest, the the biggest thing that 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 worked for me, it took me a bunch of wins to realize this is not fluke. This is a process that works. And that just keeps me kind of going every day, knowing that, oh yeah, if I lose my 
daily, whatever that is, three, five K, I can come back and make that money. This is not fluke. It's a process. It can work as long as you stick to the process. And I started sticking to 8.30, um, it's central time here. So 9.30 to 10.30, because I, because all the big trades happen during the open. I see people trading after saying, oh, I'm trying to make back locates, what not. I don't, I don't care about shit, right? Because if you believe in yourself, you're going to make back locate money. That's just a cost of doing business. And, and in my opinion, it's just all FOMO, saying I'm trying to make this thing, that thing. So I, I really stuck to the process like Alex, finish in the first hour, then I babysit some positions depending on how I feel um, with one third size. And, and that's it. Hey, show us, show us the P&L curve, bro. People, people will be very surprised. You posted show some you stuff. Show you the P&L curve? Yes, I can show you the P&L curve. Um, give me one. This is amazing, guys. Check this out. So this is hard work, man. It's, Hard work and great discipline. So that's the that's one thing I like about Vic. He's using hard stops. He may not use hard stops, but he's taking the loss. He's not turning one loser and killing the entire account like before, right? Oh, his uh, his internet just kind of slowed down, so you gotta wait a little bit. I think his internet is uh... here. You're back, Vic. Your your Wi-Fi was down. Can I can I share it with you, Bao, on uh, Slack? Because I don't even know how to use. Yeah, it. yeah. I'm so yeah, bad with the. I'll, I'll show it. I'm sorry, bro. I'm like, just, there is this, there's just two things I need. I, I know how to do, take care of patients and this, that's it. Otherwise I'm just such a klutz. I <laughs> not techy at all. Yeah. Just send it me on Slack. Yeah, there we go, I, guys. It will take me just two seconds. It's not current though. It's like almost a month old since here. I've, you know, I've, I made some more money. There was a time in my life when I thought, you know, this is it's probably not for me um, because I heard a trader say in an interview once that, you know, maybe, maybe you're not built to be a trader. And then I go like, and now I just want to tell people. So this is a month old bow since here. I've made like 90K. That is amazing, man. Look at this equity curve, guys. This is the most consistent thing I've seen. Uh, and, and think about this. Vic said that too. 45 straight days agree. One lost day is a tiny loss, three thousand dollars, and he's already thinking that you know. So these are the things that you have to keep in mind as a trader. Trader needs confidence, guys. How do you build confidence by repetition, making the same trades process every day and seeing the results happen? And you start to trust your lines, right? So when people ask me, how do you, how do, you, where's your stop? How do you know you're not going to blow up? Well, because I have my risk. It's okay if I lose. If, if I lose a couple thousand bucks, that's fine. I know I'll make that back. But the problem is if you keep adding to a loser to infinity and you blow your entire account, that's the problem. So that's the problem that, in my opinion, the hardest hurdle to overcome is being able to take a loss and walk away. Because the, the competitive nature in you, no one wants to take a loss. They think that, hey, they they, they they, they, they exit that that's the top or the bottom, but you cannot think about that way. Tomorrow's another day guys. So look at that. That's, I am, I, and hey man, congratulations, I, Vic. Congratulations, brother. I would like to add that, uh, add, add one thing to what you said about a lot of people think they will take the loss, but they don't really own the loss as in they, they hope that it never happens, bro. I have the same chart. I have, I have to share this with you. I, I have, wonder yeah. why we have the same Sorry. cards, Vic. Do we wonder why the process works, right? Bro, it's it's crazy. It's uh, yeah, it's it's just crazy. I can't I can't believe that our charts look exactly the same. I'll share them with you later in the room. I'm like I'm I can't yeah. I can't multitask. I'm just bad. That, that, you know what? This is because the the man we 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 share what we trade, how we trade. This process works, guys. I mean, you so ice bow that this right here. It's literally, and I'm not even exaggerating. It's nobody can pay you guys enough to share what you're sharing because it took me what, like one and a half years to become consistent and then just tweaked around my risk management. That just does not happen. Like people don't realize to become a successful trader, it takes three to five years, even for regular pop from pop firm traders. And I went over the data that was published by Stephen Ducks. He got it from some brokers. Only 4% of people make more than hundred K and more than and only more than 2% make more than seven figures. So people get swayed by these PNLs on Twitter, which is bullshit. Um, they're not true.
those those traders are not true and i know how to do it like i could just hide that 3k loss and just keep posting these pnls where i only win it's so easy for me to do but obviously that's not what we do here the yeah the best way to know that works is how many people we taught in mic you see it every day right Vic? so many people are learning the same strategies yes yes i mean dude, there's is people thought back in the day so this f a t h people thought that f a oh is this uh oops this is fast fast f a t h so back in the day people thought i would lie about my charts i don't post me now anymore i like to post charts and th- i mean dude there's how do i top tick these how do i bottom tick the covers right it's it's the process that we teach we we teach at mic guys is I, I don't like to post these anymore because people start to think I'm, I'm cheating. But if you see Vix's chart, the Vix's chart looks like um, our chart. And you my chart so that they can see how, how similar mine and your chart is. And the process works. There's a repeatable process that, you know what I mean? So now, Vic, the sky's the limit, man. I mean, I don't know how much you make as a doctor, but this is pretty damn good money, right? <laughs> I am almost making actually two two times my salary two to two and a half times and i make pretty decent money um and this i love doing this so there is no price tag on this this i mean now my days are just filled with you know i want to wake up and do something exciting and uh, i guess i'm still a gambler at heart um but i but but i can't thank you guys enough for sharing all the knowledge so the key ongoing now guys is risk management do not so take your money out like we we talk about because you know the last thing we need is uh, for that gambling blood in you to come back and like ruin everything in one bad trade right because there could be a day where like a stock goes a hundred dollars like dwac like uh, a polaroid or something like stupid like I that i lost today dwac bow so i had the itch to just trade it just because i lost like 500 bucks on it um shorted it at 72 i think that was the high of whatever and then just cut at 7250 now it's at eighty two dollars and eighty bucks, bro. <laughs> it's going to hundred, Bob. This is yeah. going to hundred before it uh, reverses. So I'm glad that you lost very little because you, you know, sometimes you have to scratch that gambling itch. But you went really small size, so that's that's good. Yeah, I was I was small, and and I knew that what I'm doing is just scratching the itch. This was not a high probability trade or anything like that. Yep, that, that, that's the same thing as me, man. I sometimes we just have to scratch that gambling itch in, inside of us. I'm trying to get away from that. I'm trying very hard to get away from that. Um, I guess it takes some time. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, man. I'm still uh, 20 years later. I'm still trying to scratch certain itches. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, man. I mean, uh, so once again, guys, Vic is in the room. Uh, take it easy on this, the questions for Vic. Don't scare him away. He loves this, but. Um, answering a thousand same questions so start with the videos and hey man congratulations Vic I'm very happy for you brother thank Thanks. you oh, I, I appreciate everything thank you <clears throat> all right and David you're around um, if you're even around I could try one more time I'll raise your hand David one more time uh, I'm so sorry There we go, David. I can't for some reason I can't bring you on, brother. Uh, it doesn't let me. Uh, are you on your phone? What kind of phone do you have? I I don't know if that's the reason why or. All right. Well, we'll get, we'll get you next time. Uh, next week, uh, David. No problem. Thank you, Vic. Thank you, Bye. Tyler. Thank you, everybody. Meet up on the sign up. Meet up on the next 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 Saturday, the end of the month. Okay, guys. Um, myinvestmentclub.com slash meetup. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.